Do we resemble the church in Thyatira? I would hope not. John writes in Revelation chapter 2 and in verse 20, But I have this against you, that you tolerate the woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols. We are people. The congregations are made of people. The church is people. And because of that, the church is made up of imperfect people because there are no perfect people in the church. And so we have sins, we have issues that we all deal with, that we all struggle with, that we all fall back into from time to time. But as the Lord's church, we are called to not tolerate sin. We're called to love sinners, but not to tolerate their sin. The church in Thyatira was a congregation who had gotten to the point where sin was just accepted. They weren't seeking to help people out of it. They weren't seeking to correct, to restore people to a better way of life. And so they were accepting sin and tolerating it. And they're called out for that very harshly by John here in Revelation. Are we a congregation that's like that? I hope not. I hope that we are looking for ways to improve each other and to help each other walk more faithfully. But at the same time, uh, do we hate those who are sinners? I hope that's not the case either. I hope we are people who stand for righteousness, who stand for faithfulness, who don't tolerate sin, but at the same time who lovingly, graciously, humbly restore those who are erring. So as you're watching this, let's keep our central focus on being a congregation that loves all people, that is here for all people, but is there to help people become more faithful, more righteous, more Christ-like in a loving way to not stand or accept sin.